we dream of ending unsafe abortions as it leads to avoidable maternal deaths. Women have the right to decide about their own lives and bodies, but in many countries around the globe, this is not the case, forcing women and girls to turn to unsafe options, which often lead to their death. That is what Rutgers, DKT and partners want to change through the She Makes Her Safe Choice program, ending unsafe abortions by offering safe options and by preventing unintended pregnancies to happen. To reach maximum impact, we've been doing this at two levels, worldwide and in our focus countries, Ethiopia, Kenya, Benin and Cameroon. Making her choice a reality is a bit like a puzzle. If you are not aware how to prevent an unintended pregnancy or you lack information about safe abortion methods, how will you make use of it? And even if you know about it, you might not be able to access contraceptives or safe abortion methods, either due to lack of supply or bias from your pharmacist or provider. To realize access to safe abortion services, there is also need for a supportive environment. Conservatism, taboos around abortion, societal stigma around sexuality, judgmental media, and restrictive legislation and procedures all stand in your way to find the support you need to make your choice. If we want to overcome the challenge of women and girls dying from unsafe abortions, all puzzle pieces should unite to complement each other. This is our complementary approach. Since the start of our program, we have made significant progress, which brings our dream of ending unsafe abortions a step closer. Under She Makes Her Safe Choice, we distributed 362,000 manual vacuum aspirators for clinical abortion worldwide, over 283,000 doses of medical abortion, and we trained over 11,000 providers and pharmacists in our focus countries, Kenya, Ethiopia, and in Francophone West Africa. Besides that, we also reached millions of women and young people through campaigns and online solutions. And we managed to create more support at policy level. For instance, Kenyan advocates ensured the development and signing of post-abortion care guidelines. And in Benin, joint advocacy efforts resulted in a new, more progressive law on abortion. With these complementary activities, we created impact. We prevented 4.3 million unsafe abortions globally, thus avoiding almost 12,000 maternal deaths and prevented nearly 200,000 unintended pregnancies in our focus countries. In very challenging contexts and amidst COVID-19 restrictions, our partnership managed to achieve a lot. But while we have achieved good results with our partnership, we cannot stop here. Millions of women and girls still don't decide over their own lives and bodies. Hundreds are still dying and suffering unnecessarily. We need to continue and wish to expand our work. We call on all partners to join us and solve this puzzle together. <laughs>